Hello and welcome back to the Outring Tinnitus podcast. This is Frida and I'm your host and this podcast is all about what you can do about tinnitus to habituate to your tinnitus and start leaving tinnitus behind, not being bothered anymore by your tinnitus. And in today's episode, the first episode after the short uh, Christmas and New Year's break, um, I have a very, very interesting piece with you, for you. Um, and uh, today's episode, we welcome Michelle onto the show. Michelle was part of the um, online habituation program at mytinnitus.club, but we also work together in many coaching sessions and um, I thought it would be great to bring Michelle onto the show so that you guys have a real life example of the strategies and the story of someone who went from starting to deal with tinnitus of constantly being in the fight or flight having trouble dealing with everything getting panic attacks um, really not being well to someone to follow through with that journey to really look at um, about a year later how Michelle is doing right now how everything that we've done together has supported her but also the tools that she found for herself that were really helpful um, one more thing that I want to ask you in the year 2024 um, I've been talking a little bit about how I really do appreciate if you subscribe and share the podcast with people who you think should be listening to it because it helps us grow the podcast, but it also helps me as a creator. And one other additional thing that you could do, because this show is still relatively small, we don't have a sponsor for 2024. And if you do enjoy the content that I'm creating on a weekly basis, um, helping people with tinnitus. And if there's only the one thing that you want to do, then uh, click the link in the description and you will find a small button that says donate for the show. So if you want to just buy me a coffee for one, two, three dollars, euros, whatever it is, um, and you want to buy me a coffee sponsor and support the show, uh, support the creation of these podcast episodes, support the work that I do for people with tinnitus, then that's one more thing that you can do in the year 2024. Yeah, so it would be really, really appreciated if you um, want to support the show and want to sh support my creation of all the resources, then uh, click on the link in the description of this episode. And uh, that uh, is really, really much appreciated. So thank you for that already. Um, the second announcement before we jump right into the interview with Michelle and Michelle's sharing all the things that have helped her in the past year with her tinnitus. Um, the second thing is that I have a format coming up for 2024 that I think is going to be really nice. It is exactly an interview format like what we did with Michelle, but a little bit more with people who are already on the road and who are still struggling. So I can already announce that we have recorded a few episodes of that um, live coaching calls, I call them, and you can access them on YouTube, but they will also be released as podcast episodes. So if you want to sign up on those uh, for one of those, you can get that for absolutely free. So it's a free strategy session of about half an hour with me helping you in your journey with tinnitus. So you can also get that session for free. And um, uh, uh, we will publish that on YouTube and on the podcast in order to be helpful for all the people with tinnitus out there. All right. Um, these are all the announcements from today onwards. We are back to the regular schedule of one tinnitus podcast episode every single Friday, 8 p.m. Berlin time. That um, is uh, uh, every single Friday, 8 p.m. Berlin time. We have a new podcast episode coming out. But today we get into the episode with Michelle. I hope you all had a good Christmas or holiday break and a fantastic start to the year 2024. From my heart to yours, enjoy this new and first episode of the year 2024 and many, many more to come in this great new year. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Hello and welcome to the Outring Tinnitus podcast. This is Frida and I'm your host. This podcast is all about the tinnitus science and what you can do to live a better life despite the ringing. Okay, well, today we've got uh, Michelle uh, with us here. So uh, Michelle, thanks so much for coming on and uh, for talking to me. It's been a while since we last connected. Um, We've been uh, working together um, in uh, tinnitus coaching sessions, and you've also been a very, very valued member inside our tinnitus club community. So 
Um, thank you so much for making it today, Michelle. And uh, uh, I mean, thank you for taking the time to sharing a little bit about your story and maybe a little bit about um, what's been helpful for you and what you found along the way for other people who are dealing with tinnitus. So welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. So happy to be here. Thank you. Yeah. Why don't you um, uh, share a little bit with uh, the people who are listening about what your tinnitus journey was, how it started and what your experience was maybe. Okay, sure. I'd love to. Um, so I had uh, been having, uh, this was last year, uh, it's 2022. I had had uh, my left ear was clogged for like six months and I had been back and forth to the doctor and uh, I mean, just, it just was clogged. I, I, I'd really, we don't really know why it just was clogged because today it is not clogged. Uh, it, um, I had a lot, I did have a lot of wax build up and, mm. um, that kind of thing. But mm. with the tinnitus, I was, uh, boarding a flight in November of last year. And when I was on the flight, uh, I had my ear pods in and, uh, I was hearing like a little tiny ring and I was like, oh, it's just from the ear pods. <laughs> and then I took them out and I was like, oh, no, it's not. It's constant. So I uh, got to the ho got to my hotel room, did what you shouldn't really do and uh, got on the computer, started Googling. I have a ring in my ear. And once I did that, you read everything horrible and I just spiraled out of control um and went into fight or flight panic just all the things and the ringing actually was getting louder because I was in that panic mode so uh when the trip was over I came home and uh just spiraled even deeper uh and it was really scared so I started googling uh tinnitus coaches <laughs> and you came up so i reached out to you and you you reached out very quickly and i got right on board with your program and your coaching sessions which helped me immensely like i if i if i i don't think if i reached out to you i would be where i am today which is I, yes, I still, I do have tinnitus, but I'm absolutely 100% habituated to it. It's there. It's a part of me. It's, it's just who I am now. And I don't let it take over my life. That's such a beautiful story. That's so nice. Um, I remember actually one of uh, the, the first consultations that we had, and, you know, I, I, I get that a lot, especially in the first consultations, the amount of you know, it's like we, we talk to each other over the whole pond. You're you're in the U.S. I'm here in Berlin. But yeah. uh, you could feel the physical levels of alertness and anxiety in a person. I could see that in you. Right. Like I remember you sitting in that in that place and you 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 weren't really understanding what was going on. And, and of course, this Googling had like sort of like rushed you into this panic mode. And I I remember that you you you, you know, you had a lot of questions around like, what is this going to do to me and, and what's happening to me and, and how is this affecting me? And, and I remember that we sort of like we, we talked about all this process, right? A lot about the fight or flight and how about the, the awareness of, of that anxiety and then the manifestation of the anxiety in, 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 in your body is sort of a further driver of uh, a vigilance over the tendencies, et cetera. And then eventually you, you started understanding this a little bit. So I, I, I imagine that at the start, maybe you were a little bit like, maybe not skeptic, but like, hmm, so how would I, would I, so how would you describe the process for you? Like the first couple of weeks or, or maybe, maybe when that, when that shifting sort of took place a little bit for you? Yeah, good question. Well, as soon as I, as soon as I got on board with you, I knew I was right where I was supposed to be because you, 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 everything I asked you, you knew, uh, you knew what I was thinking, how, why, when, where, like you're, you're very knowledgeable with, with all of that. Um, but for my shift for me, um, is when, 
we were on, I don't know which session, but um, let's see, you said to me, what would you said? You said to me, you started, we started talking about, this is part of who I am now. Like it's part of me. It's, it's signals to me. We came up with it together. Like I'm alive. <laughs> I remember that. You remember yeah. that? Yeah. And, like, I remember once that. I heard that I was, I was like, yeah, I am alive. Like this is part of me now. And let's not fight it. Nice. Because the fighting was getting me nowhere. I kept thinking I was going to make it go away by doing X, Y, and Z. And all along, it was just pushing me further away from habituating. And then I'll never forget I, I the, the key phrase you said to me is which was the biggest shift was, and it just clicked in my brain, was you said to me, and you said it to me multiple times, but I really, when I really got it, I got it. You said to me, let it be there. You just said, let it be there. And I started, I started letting it be there, not pushing it away, running from it, hiding, meditating away from it. I just, I just let it be there and kind of made friends with it. And it didn't scare me as much as when I started doing that. Um, and then I just, you know, processed all the emotions that came with it, like the fear, the frustration, um, uh, what else? The, the sadness. I just started letting all those emotions bubble up and, and just kind of sitting with them. And once I did all that, I, I kind of made friends with it. And you, and, and I think I remember this one because you're, you, you told me, like, I remember that with the driving, right. You had one or two moments where with the yeah. driving was a little bit tricky. And yes. I always say to people, like, it's much more than letting it be there because it is also about exactly what you said. It's about figuring out that emotional constellation that keeps you in this vicious loop that says, well, this is the radius radius, which within which I can now operate having tinnitus. Right. And that's like sort of like your own personal confirmation of a limitation that you're living with right now. And, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that we need to get rid of. So I remember that we said, like, uh, even when it bothers you while driving or in any other circumstance, let it bother you, because what's the worst yes. that, can, that it can do to you? And then yeah. you slowly but steadily confirm to yourself. And this is a core pr principle of acceptance and commitment therapy. You confirm to yourself that moving towards committed action, showing yourself that while synergies may be present, you can still move and do all the things that you wanted to do. Although sometimes, especially at the start, they might be a little bit uncomfortable because you've adopted this relationship. But over time, they completely change. And of course, like a lot of people, I think probably if someone is completely new to this, have never heard something like this, they'll probably say like, well, this is nuts what they talk about. How, how could you accept or let something that annoying, that scaring, that intrusive simply be there? And um, you remember maybe something that you could uh, uh, say some uh, 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 say to to someone like that 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 has helped you or from the top of your head or yeah I mean it, <laughs> or just the, just constant just constant practice yeah yeah I mean I'm not gonna lie the very beginning is scary yeah. I mean yeah. it's it 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 rocked my world I yeah. I, I got to tell you it yeah. rocked my world yeah. yeah um but I'm a fighter I wasn't giving up. You know, I did all the things. Um, I, you know, hired you. I got in your program. I started exercising more. I tried eating, you know, like clean and just, I just was trying everything. I, I got, I got rid of caffeine. None of those things get rid of it, by the way. But um, I just wanted to try different things to see what would help me. Um, but what, I think what helped me the most is, is just never giving up and making friends with it. I, I know that sounds very odd, but just like accepting it and making friends with it. Because for me, I mean, maybe some people's tinnitus goes away, but for me, mine 
came last year and I, it hasn't gone away and I, I don't foresee it ever to go away, but it doesn't bother me. Uh, now I retract that. It does bother me sometimes. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh, come on. Like really, I don't want to, you know, be, it's a little loud today, but I find that when I'm anxious or nervous or really bored is when I notice it the most. Um, but uh, I just, yeah, I mean, got to embrace, I just, I think embracing it is yep. the answer is yep. Yep. embracing it. And it's part yep. of who you are now. I know people don't want to hear that, but it's the reality. And when you fight with reality, you lose 100% of the time. We'll be right back in the show in just a very short moment. I wanted to tell you everything that's going on behind the scenes in our online Tinnitus membership club. Since the 1st of January, we launched the 30 day Tinnitus habituation challenge. And of course we know, and the people who run this community know that you cannot get habituated in 30 days. But what this 30 day challenge is supposed to do is help you set the right habits that set you off on your habituation journey. So first of all, we made you aware of what stage in your habituation journey you are in, whether you're very new to the concept of habituation, whether you just started dealing with tinnitus, or whether you've had tinnitus for a while, if you've habituated in the past and you're having a difficult time now. Um, and the second thing is we find out for every single member, first of all, what stage they are in and second of all what goals can you build on a daily basis that will convert into goals that you take over the rest of the whole year so what kind of goals could you build in the smallest amount of time possible in order to help your brain understand tinnitus as a benign body sensation rather than constantly struggling and being upset with it and it's not too late for you to join the challenge. The challenge is always going to stay there over the whole year. So the one positive thing that we do is the challenge is in one particular space. So all the videos, all the recordings from the events, the goal setting sessions, etc., all the success that people have had, they stay to be in the community. They stay in the community over the whole year. And uh, you can also launch your 30 day challenge by simply going to www.mytinnitus.club and signing up either for a free trial or already committing and knowing that you want to support this community and want to be part of it for a long period of time and start the tinnitus habituation program to really get habituated, get better with your tinnitus and do that in a place where people are who understand you, who know exactly what you need to do because I have worked with 500 plus people and helped them to leave tinnitus behind like I did with Michelle. So if that's something that you want to do, then go to www.mytinnitus.club. Back to the show now. Unfortunately, yes, yeah. 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 And you know, it's so much bigger than that because if we if we see it for what it is, namely in most people, 99% of all cases, a benign body sensation that we're fighting, that's a little bit like fighting your breath or your heartbeat. Yeah. Right. So, yes. so, so the way you could, or, or, I mean, for example, many people will say, well, this is wrong. There's nothing you can do, the, you know, like fighting the humming of your fridge. When your fridge is on, it's going to hum. Right. Mm -hmm. And when you get upset about your fridge humming, then of course you can plug it out, but then your stuff goes to waste. So, you, you better yeah. leave it plugged in and and you know why would you be upset by the humming of your fridge so right. you know what i say it's a it's a classification of the conditioned response that you have towards your tinnitus and i understand that like sometimes we can get upset but look for me for example my tinnitus ramps up like i don't get upset anymore like it's just i know that's something that naturally happens for example and i think that's also within part of the process so you are fully habituated but you're still early or on in the process, right? You have a year now with tinnitus and you've made, yeah. by the way, very fast progress, right? I think you are one of the people that have like the fastest learning, fastest and steepest learning curve that I had in the last couple of years uh, from like you. a couple of months of working together. And then you're like, okay, I'm good now. See you, yeah. see you later, <laughs> so to say. And that was, that right. was great. That was, it was a great experience also for me as a coach. But what I wanted to say is that it's, it's this importance of knowing that even when it does bother you, knowing that you're okay and trusting in yourself, right? So you're like, well, this is this, this is it. I've, I've, I've learned to deal with this. And even if this is a little bit blech right now, I know that in an hour or two, it, it's not blech anymore because I won't be 
giving a damn about it anymore. It's a little yeah. bit like a headache that you have and then it goes away and you're like, Ugh. then it goes away and then you're like, oh, it's gone. Look at that. You know, yeah. so it's, it's, a, it's a massive, it's a monumental shift from constant yeah. anxiety, reactivity and not knowing where to start to saying like, well, okay, once a month, twice a month, five times a month, it's, it's a little bit meh. But, mm-hmm. you know, in the end, it, it's what it is. I've learned to deal with it. And it's like nowhere near when I started dealing with this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, you know, when people start with it, they're just so scared. Mm -hmm. And it's so, I feel like when you're anxious and scared, it's so much louder. I mean, so much louder because today it's, I, I feel like it's very mild. It's just very, it's, it's always there, but it's just very mild. Versus last year when I was so scared and it was, I felt like it was so loud. I felt like other people could hear it. Um, but yeah, obviously they can't, but you know, it's, 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 it's so fascinating too. Like when you talk to other people and you bring up tinnitus, people don't really want to talk about it. They're like, oh, oh you have that. Oh, Wow. That must be terrible. I remember and that. That was a big source of anxiety for you, right? Very, very yeah, big. I remember and that. It's, it's still, it's still, it, I mean, you know, it doesn't bother me anymore, but people talk, like I ran into somebody the other day and I'm all about it. Like, oh yeah, I have tinnitus. Yep. Yeah, no big deal. Whereas before I was, mm-hmm. I didn't want to tell anybody I had it because mm-hmm. I was ashamed or I didn't mm-hmm. want them to pity me or or anything like that. But today I'm, I'm like, Oh yeah, I have it. Yep. Yep. I've tinnitus. You want to talk about it? Um, but I ran into somebody who, um, I don't know, it just came up my, uh, tinnitus because you, as you remember last year, when I first got it, I got pretty depressed and, um, you know, I saw some, you know, I saw a therapist and, and I, I did go on some, some, um, antidepressants, thinking that that would cure my tinnitus, but it, it didn't. It, I mean, it helped me with my mood, but yeah, sure. um, and I, I'm, I have to say today, I am, I am not on any of that. So nice. yeah, I was, I actually got off of everything not too long ago, like a month ago. It was, I was quite, quite proud of myself. But, um, but, but I was talking to somebody uh, about it. Yeah, I have tinnitus and, and immediately they go to, oh, oh, that must be terrible. And I said, no, actually it's, it's not. Once you become habituated to it, it, it's not bad at all. It's just part of who I am. So like, I want to kind of correct that banter, you know, people, you know, that, that they have, because it's, it's not a, it's not a a curse or a death sentence or anything like that. Mm. It's just part of who you are. It it might be that it's a little bit more like that the the way tennis is in the US is a little bit seen differently than for example here in Europe, maybe. Because mm. I think tennis is in the US is a lot a, a lot related to veteran conditions, right? So a lot yeah. of veterans have tinnitus. And of course, oh. I, I talk about this a lot in my podcast and other places. So if you have tinnitus together with PTSD and maybe the onset of tinnitus is correlated with a traumatic event like seeing someone being ripped in, into into 20 20 000 pieces then mm-hmm. and at the same time you get tinnitus then you can imagine it's a little bit worse than uh sort of what we got because it always every single moment of your day it's ringing and this ringing has its start when you saw that person being mm-hmm. being yes. thrown up into twenty thousand pieces so of course it could be that maybe, I mean, this is just a, a hypothesis, but this is one of my explanations for why uh, tinnitus, of course, it doesn't have a good name anywhere, but it has an especially bad name in the US. And, and people yeah. are, of course, very sort of like with this, you know, there's nothing our school medicine system can do about this. And of course, something that we also try to change with our podcasts and and and, and with um, uh, trying to reach out to people to tell them, you know, there's actually a lot that we can do. You don't need to charge people $300 for a 10 minute consultation of telling them there's nothing we can do. You can go home now and not worry about it. Right. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you but, know, what's so fascinating. I have to tell you, we're talking about veterans. I, I, you know, I, I told, I messaged you about this, but 
Um, I I'm in a new relationship with uh, a veteran. He was a Marine for 30 years oh, wow. and um, he has tinnitus. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. What in the world? Yeah. I well, as soon as he told me he had tinnitus, I was like, "Oh my goodness!" Like we, you were just <laughs> so meant for me, right? That's awesome. But yeah, he deals with it just fine. Um, you, you know, he's had it for a very long time. I mean, he was he flew helicopters and he, he had guys shooting guns right behind him in the helicopter. So all that noise, I guess, he developed it that way but um yeah i mean and and you know another thing i'm jumping all around but like we were talking about how like in the well in the u.s you go to like the doctor and you say i have tinnitus and immediately they're just like oh yeah there's nothing we can do for you so okay have a good day you know sorry about that i mean they really need to get that together because uh, i had doctors say that to me and it just it just sunk to me yeah. and it's not true like there it's are not some, true it's not true at all there's so many things you can do you know work with with you and and become involved in the program that helps so much yeah 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 unfortunately that's something that we we want to tackle but yeah of course yeah. that's um that's what we do so uh, it's it's amazing that you that you um are willing to to share your story here and to share to give your feedback and and to share of how how your experience was with the coaching program with the community with um everything that we've done in the in the work together so that's uh that's great thank you for sharing all of that michelle that's really really much appreciated oh you're so welcome and i just want to share to your listeners like my protocol with tinnitus back in the beginning this is this was my exact protocol um, so if anybody listening, you know, can get on board to do this, but I work with you. I worked with you. I was in your program. I, um, I started art therapy and I re that really started to, um, like relax me. It was huge, the art therapy. Um, and today I'm super into art. Like it's, it's my, it's nice. my meditation. So awesome. it was, it was you, it was the art therapy. It was exercising, um, eating well. Um, I did go and get a massage. I know this is a lot, but I was getting a massage twice a week. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. I, I know it's a lot, but it really, really helped me. Um, and yeah, I think that, yeah, that was my protocol. And I love it. Yeah, here I am today. And, That's awesome. And I have to say, it, no, I don't wish that I had tinnitus, but it really grew me. And I wouldn't change anything. I really wouldn't. It really has grown me and made me see things in, different, in a different light. So, wow. and I, and I got to meet you and, and being, being your, your energy, which, uh, really you, you, when I was on, when some of those dark days, you really helped me out. I don't know if you remember when I was at the hair salon and I had a panic attack and you were right there going, listen, this is what happens. You're in fight or flight. And <laughs> And it just, you, you really calmed me down. So thank you so much for all your help. Um, it's uh, my absolute pleasure. I always say I can just um, provide the framework for you to do the progress in sort of like a little bit like a, a labyrinth and then together we find out where your exit is. Um, yeah. So it's not something that, you know, coaching is a lot about, you know, of course, knowing, having the knowledge, but then also asking yourself the right questions. So that's mm -hmm. sort of like where I see myself and, and it's, um, yeah, it's really, really, really nice that it has worked out so well, but it's also because you are, were open to making that progress. And I think also because you exactly what you say, you're a fighter, you never gave up on yourself. I know mm -hmm. there were moments in which you said, gee, this is difficult. I remember that. I know yeah. that yeah. also because tinnitus was not the only thing on your plate, but uh, wh yeah. what's ever, what's ever the only thing on your plate, right? So life, yeah. there's never yeah. only one thing on your plate. But yeah. when, when tennis is on your plate, then it feels like a lot. But 
I remember that it, it was still like, even in the darkest moments, I could see this in you. I could see that eventually you would have made this progress. And that's like so gratifying as well, right? Because now I get to talk to you after you yeah. sort of like maneuvered this and, and come out a little bit on the other side and we get to have a chat and, yeah. and sort of talk about this experience, looking back and saying like, all right, this uh, was a tricky and challenging time, but I've learned a lot of things for my for my life to continue and maybe even took some things that I didn't know about myself before. Yeah, totally. I, I yeah, listen and listen, I'm going to have something else hard is going to come my way. You know, this has just made me strong, stronger and to approach whatever comes my way. I, I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. And tinnitus has taught me how to, how to be strong. I like that. Yeah. Well, Michelle, thank you so much for sharing your story. I think uh, all the listeners will appreciate that so, so, so much. So it's been an absolute pleasure to having you on here today. Uh, oh, thank you for taking you. the busy time out of your schedule. And <laughs> um, yeah, I hope uh, that uh, we can we can uh, keep in keep in touch for the future. Maybe I'll be maybe I'll be in the U.S. at some point next year. So maybe I can can let you know when I when I get over. Oh my goodness, that would be such a treat. I would love that. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for having me on. I, you know, I, you're, I, I tell people about you all the time. I'm like, this, this man saved me. I, well, you and me together. So, exactly. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like my angel. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's so nice of you to say. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for tuning into the Outring Tenants podcast. If you liked this episode, then please be sure to share it with the people who you think should be listening to it and who would get some great benefits um, from tuning into this Tenants podcast. Um, as I said in the introduction, if you want to get one of these coaching sessions yourself, then please click the link in the description as well, there is a link that says uh, get the coaching and then you can get the 30 minutes coaching as well for me for free. And then we will share and feature it on the podcast and on my YouTube channel as well, which you can find, of course, also in the link of the description of this episode. Finally, I just want to quickly repeat that we have the online tinnitus program, mytinnitus.club. We are um, in the middle of our 30-day tinnitus challenge, which is going very, very well. We defined individual goals for every single person for helping them move on to the next stage in habituation. People connect over uh, a buddy system, so people talk to them each other on a one-on-one -on -one basis every single day to share their goals and tell how they progress to each other. So that's something that's been incredibly helpful. So if you want a strategic approach to managing your habituation process, if you want online courses, a place where you can connect with people who are doing exactly the same in a very positive way without all these negative communities and stuff like that, then uh, go to www.mytinnitusclub for a free trial. And if you wanna simply support my podcast and the creation of these episodes, then also go to the link in the description and you will find a link where you can donate a couple of dollars, maybe just the worth of coffee. Uh, buy me a coffee and, uh, and if you want to send us a message and we'll be responding with a thank you. So I wish you all the best. I hope you had a great start to 2024. I hope that uh, you'll be continuing to tuning in and listening. And I'm so happy and grateful for all the messages I've been getting over the past couple of months. Um, all the support that you guys are um, uh, giving to us and, and, and yeah, so I'm, I'm just really grateful and happy to be able to provide this for you and we're not stopping, we are continuing, we're doing everything we can. So if you are interested in checking out also the format on YouTube to see what these coaching sessions look like um, with a video, then uh, click the link in the description. You'll also find a link to the YouTube channel and then we'll see you over there. All right, and I hear you next week with a new Tinnitus podcast episode. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you very much for listening to the Outring Tinnitus podcast. I am looking forward to also welcome you on my website at outringtinnitus.com or if you have any questions, please mail to frida at outringtinnitus.com. See you next time. 